All right, today we're gonna be testing out these tires and seeing how good they are. All right, these tires are from AliExpress and they costed about $25. I'll pop up, I'll pop up on the screen right here a picture of them so you can see the listing. So yeah, we're gonna see if they're worth it or how fast they break. Now, one thing I noticed off the rip is that they are not glued. They're not glued. <laughs> Jesus, these are like freaking soap. Balloons! Don't drop them. <laughs> um, they're not glued, so that might be an issue. But the truck we're gonna be running it on doesn't really balloon the tires that crazy much. That crazy much. Is that even English? All right, we're gonna be putting them on the on the granite with my uh, Hobby Wing. Max 10 ESC combo, so let's get them on. All right, there we go, we have them on. Um, they actually fit really nice. They actually don't look too small for this. And I know what you're thinking, why the hell are they that color? These originally were supposed to be for my Armour Mojave, but uh, they were just a little bit smaller than they uh, advertised, so. They might say 1.8 scale, 1.7 scale on the listing, but these are really only 1.10 scale size tires. Just because it, it would look ridiculous on the Mojave, how small they were. But uh, yeah, so now it's actually time to test them. All right, here's a little asphalt drive on them. <laughs> they seem a little, uh, little wobbly. That could just be the t tire letters. <laughs> oh, there's one tire off already. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow. All right, well, at least now we can take a look at the actual tire itself and the wheel. But uh, I probably should have expected that considering they weren't glued and we were driving on asphalt because uh, it was just a little too grippy. But the tires themselves are really uh, surprisingly grippy. They got a nice foam inside of it, as you can see. And then you can see there's like these ribs up here, I guess, that are, I don't know if that's just a mold or is it supposed to help hold onto the front of the wheel, but that's, I don't care what's inside the tire, if it's not glued or on an actual bead lock, it's gonna come off, just like you saw in literally, what, 20 seconds? So yeah, I guess I'll get these all glued up and then we can go out and try that again. One thing kind of cool about these wheels though is there is interchangeable hubs. It comes with a 10 millimeter, or not a 10 millimeter, a 12 millimeter, 14, and then 17, so you can put it on like most size vehicles, even though I wouldn't put on anything bigger than a 10 scale vehicle just because how odd it may look. Unless it's a road car, obviously, then it would look more suitable versus a monster truck. All right, we got all the tires glued. Now, this was my first time actually ever gluing tires, so we'll see how they turn out. If I ruin them, well, I don't want to see how I'll ruin them, but um, yeah, we'll see if they hold. But I'm definitely going to test them in the backyard first before I drive all the way back over there. and. It, it might happen again, so uh, yeah, I'll pick the camera up after they dry and all.
they seem to be holding okay. Uh, the back tire started to balloon a little bit and didn't come off, so uh, I'm gonna do a little bit more running with this and then we'll switch over to 3S and see if it can really hold. All right, this is the, um, the 3S battery we're gonna be swapping in. So yeah, let's swap it in and see if we can, uh, not see if we, but let's see if these things blow up or not. Motor's fried. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. <laughs> Alright, well this video might be cut a little bit short because I'm gonna take this motor around and see what's wrong with it. But um yeah, I mean these tires for the $26, I mean they've held up so far. Well, obviously you saw earlier that they came off, but if you know how to glue tires or have tire glue, I mean, I don't see why these tires aren't worth the price because if you were to get road tires like this from any other brand, you're gonna be spending, you know, like 40 bucks for two or so, like something crazy like that. But yeah, I mean, these tires seem to be perfectly fine. Granted, I was on grass. They might seem, they might run different on, uh, on asphalt you know they might not be as good but the little I was on the asphalt they seemed all right so I mean for 20 25 bucks I mean it's almost worth it just to try them out um, but yeah because you got the intercha interchangeable hubs so you, you can switch them through vehicles I, I just can't believe this motor it, I'm pretty sure it's fried because it rolls just fine but whatever man uh, yeah so I hope you enjoyed this little tire review. Literally everything has been going wrong. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, I'll have a link down below where you can check these tires out if you want to purchase them. Yeah, so thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one. I'm gonna still include what is wrong with this motor in case anybody wants to know. So. Yeah, well, I definitely know it's the motor. This is full throttle. Oh. Oh. It just like sputters and then doesn't do anything else. So I don't know. It just feels super, super rough. So yeah, <laughs> leave a comment down below if you think, uh, if you know what that could be. I'm guessing just the motor itself just wasn't meant to get that hot. I don't know. It has, it didn't feel that hot though after it cut off. I don't know. Maybe I'll let it sit and uh, it'll be fine later. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna jump off a bridge. <laughs>